guys just want to share a bit more progress this is the bitmap code working it's still not interrupt but it is uh, the bitmap actually is what's being drawn so whatever I draw onto the bitmap is what is being displayed by the uh, matrix cabling is coming along looks pretty tidy I'm very pleased with it um, so maybe it's time to look at some code so let's look at some code let's try to figure out how detailed to go into this code and basically I decided that there's no uh, way I could satisfy, satisfy everyone so if I talk down to you guys I apologize in advance if I say things and make assumptions that you guys already know something and uh, it's uh, unclear feel free to uh, post a comment and I'll try to clarify uh, I'll try to answer them okay let's get started this is the bitmap I've been talking about so there are 16 rows of integers 16 bits each integer is 16 bits and the idea is to basically create routines to draw onto this bitmap and whatever is in that bitmap is what will be displayed by the hardware so after I got this all done the rest of the writing of the code you know no matter if it's Tetris or um, Space Invader or whatever it doesn't really matter because I'm just simply putting bits onto this bitmap so let's get started these are the uh, hardware pins that are being used to drive the two two sets of shift register uh, these are for the rows and these are for the columns so we'll talk a little bit more about how the, those uh, constants are used I reuse these two bytes for basically uh, preparing the bits that I'm about to put through those shift registers either the rows or the columns and then here's the setup to, to tell Arduino that we want to have all those six pins to be output pins this is a my first test right here is I just draw a diagonal line and uh, you know from the zero zero which I thought would be uh, on the bottom left to uh, 15 15 on the top right and it turned out that I was wrong the, due to the way I shift the bits it was coming from the bottom right to the top left and so this was very useful to uh, ensure that I know that my assumptions are correct and I, it was incorrect so I was able to correct the the, uh, the code such as it is such a, the bottom left is on zero zero and then the 15 by 15 is on the top right otherwise you'd be like pulling your hair trying to debug things that is uh, based on the wrong assumption okay I don't have the uh, interrupt yet so everything is be still being done by this loop the first routine will draw a triangle onto that bitmap and then it will just sit here 50 times calling this refresh routine this refresh routine is what will actually uh, take the bitmap and drive the uh, rows and columns to actually draw that bitmap and this true and false is simply drawing with the triangle either right side up or upside down so let's get into more so it will be divided into two pieces here here's a set of bitmap routines to manipulate the bitmap and then further down here I have a set of a shift register routine that will actually take that bitmap and put it onto the uh, hardware so let's take the easy one first here to clear the bitmap it's very simple um, you just loop through uh, 15 uh, 16 rows or will go from 0 to 15 of course and we'll just zero it so this operation will take basically 16 times and then all the bitmap row all the basically uh, x0 through x15 will be cleared in this this one line here and we do that six, uh, 16 times so after that happens the bitmap will be all zeros and the screen should be completely blank so this routine here is to actually plot a dot on a particular x and y position and Arduino is just so nice instead of having to deal with bit shift in the C you can actually very it's very easy to read this you say set this bit on uh, that bit right there bit X so bit 0 is the leftmost and uh, bit 15 is the rightmost 
set that bit within this variable and of course y is the uh, row position so bitmap sub 0 will be the lowest row and bitmap sub 15 will be the highest row and then uh, if it's on I set that bit at that location at that row otherwise that must be off so therefore we clear that row and that bit that's it that's what it takes to draw a dot within the bitmap and uh, based on that very easy you get to draw a diagonal line you just loop through 0 through 15 and put the same x and y in here and the one means uh, turn it on and we should have a diagonal from the bottom left to the top right and to draw the triangle it's just a little bit more complicated you can read this if you want but basically uh, I draw for the all for seven rows for eight rows I'm sorry I figure out what the X is um, it's not that interesting so let's move on yeah I think this is one of the coolest aspects of microcontrollers such as the Arduino being able to write code and instead of seeing things on a screen um, it actually affected something in the real world like these LEDs so let's talk a little bit about the hardware here and then we'll go back to that code over there so uh, yeah baby the, these the numbers here are the pinouts on the actual chip so they don't correspond to these numbers which are the pins on the Arduino so don't get confused by that so basically a shift register uh, takes data serially bit by bit and then stores it in this register such that all eight bits uh, is ready to be displayed and then it just go boom it displays it all, all, all at once all eight of them and of course we have two of these for the rows and two of these for the columns so we have four chip regi shift registers for a total of 16 bits and 16 bits on the other end so let's see so these pins here the serial in is that pin right here SER and then the serial clock is this SEK that's a serial clock the shift register clock and then the uh, clear I don't use I, I never actually clear anything in here and then uh, this RCK is the latch so whenever this actually goes positive from uh, 0 to 1 then it will take whatever we've been shifting whatever we've been shifting this in here and put it out onto the uh, screen onto the LED matrix itself there's uh, other pins in here to enable disable I also don't use those and then finally if you keep on shifting it eventually it'll fall off the you know the highest or the lowest I guess depending on which order you put it in and then it will actually uh, spits out over here and then you put this as the input of the next shift register so that's how I was able to have uh, 16 bits instead of 8 bits so the first 8 bits coming in here and then as I keep on putting more bits uh, it will just keep on shifting to the next one and then when I have all uh, 16 in there then I you know, use this latch and say okay I'm done boom all 16 will get you know 8 here and 8 on the next chip will get displayed so that's the logic from the uh, you know diagram side so let's look at the actual code that actually does exactly that so there are two, uh, two uh, pieces of uh, routine one for the row and one for the uh, columns so this one will write basically for all 16 bits that represent the rows these are the 16 bits that represent each row so this is x0 through x15 left to right and this is y0 through y15 up and down so let's just take one of them let's take the, the x so like I said earlier the first thing we do is we we take that flag the RCLK which is this RCK and we bring it low saying okay I'm about to do stuff over here don't do anything in here so that's what that does and then then we oh Arduino is again it's so nice there is a shift out that basically you give it the whole byte 8 bits and then you give it what pin is the uh, serial data should be coming out of 
and then what pin should be used for the clock and then this routine will do all the bit shifting it's like you know uh, taking that byte and then shift the bit uh, figure out what bit should be pushed in onto the serial end and then flip the clock and go shift the data again figure out what bit should be put in here uh, and flip the clock again and you do that eight times and then one time you do that eight times basically this one row here one line here does all that it'll take the eight bit from this byte and put it onto this register and then I keep on going like I said same same column uh, same serial pin same clock and then this is what actually equally push it to the second uh, shift register chip and once I get both of those uh, both of those bytes shifted all 16 bits been shifted then we'll bring this uh, latch the RCK saying yes I'm all done uh, you can take all those 16 bits 8 here and 8 there and bring it to the hardware to the actual uh, matrix LED matrix and that's how that works and so one of one of these will do the, row, the column the other one will do the row and they work exactly the same with slight modification as to whether we should be shifting it least significant bit first or most significant bit first and that controls, uh, remember I mentioned how the uh, X and Y kind of backward, how it, I wanted to go from here to there, but it ended up being from here to there. And by changing this, you know, which order I shift the uh, array element from that bitmap, I was able to uh, make it exactly the way I wanted, which is bottom left is 0, zero top right is 1515. And so that is the X and Y that controls what should happen on the the uh, what should be displayed on the row and what should be displayed on the Y but due to the way the matrix work you cannot really uh, do it all to the 256 uh, LEDs at, at the same time you actually have to multiplex them and so that's what these this routine does it's actually take it one row at a time it takes one row let's say row zero and then it figure out what should be uh, the bit pattern across that row and so it takes that row bitmap puts it in here and puts it on that whole X and then uh, yeah, basically in general I turn off all the bits on the Y, I'm, on, on, I'm sorry, on the X before I actually turn on that row. So this will turn on row, okay, let's just go to one, one, one iteration. So R is zero, so we're working on row zero. So this one here will write zero through the whole row zero. And then in here, R is still zero, so this is also zero. So, oh yeah, this is interesting. Because the matrix, each intersection of the, uh, the LED within that matrix requ require a positive and a negative, um, I need to actually flip the, the bits here. Otherwise, you know, when I say turn on this row and turn on that column, they're both going to be one, they're both going to be positive, and of course the LED is not going to let up. So that's what this part here does is basically no matter what bit I'm talking about and it will be one bit at a time here then I will just flip the whole array right there with a knot and that makes whatever I say is on becomes low and all the other ones becomes high. Boy this is so much easier. Maybe I'll do another one with, the, uh, with draw, uh, some drawing. It'll be much clearer if I could actually draw on a, with, uh, on a whiteboard or something but the gist of it is basically we turn on one row at a time and then we give the pattern for that row and then we wait a little while so we can see it and when I was doing development this is actually a whole second so I could see that row pattern and then we go loop through and let's say this is row one so the next row up again we clear the whole row the whole X pattern for that row 
and then this is now becoming one so only row one is actually enabled all the other rows are not enabled at all and then we spit out the pattern for row one the X pattern for row one and then just keep on doing until you get all uh, 16 rows and this happens really really fast and uh, our eyes are fooled into thinking that they're all actually uh, being on at the same time so that's how that works and like I said before all this guy does it takes whatever is in that bitmap and display it and so from now on all we have to do is just figure out what we want in that bitmap and call this refresh routine and it will display it and that's what exactly what this does up here so we put the bitmap uh, the triangle pattern of the bitmap and we call refresh one of these will draw one frame all you know 16 rows and 16 columns and I do it 50 times so it just sit there displaying the same bitmap pattern and then I change the bitmap pattern and then I sit there 50 times again so hopefully that's uh, not too uh, muddy and if I ha if you have any questions post it and I'll try to answer thanks for watching guys